Hello, Mayor, um, Mayor Pro Tem, members of the City Council. Uh, my name is Sherry Klima, I'm your Deputy City Manager, and this is a short presentation regarding the resolution updating grant application procedures. The grant application procedures were established in 2001 and have not been updated since then. The process of coming to council currently takes six weeks. Um, that is because we go to committees first and also um, because of the Sunshine Ordinance. These are great measures that allow our council and our residents to participate in our government more um, than shorter time frames. However, when a grant comes out and has a very quick turnaround time, it poses a problem for us. And there is no urgency option in the current resolution in terms of applying for grants. We don't want to forego these grant opportunities. So we're bringing to you this update to the grants resolution. The current resolution allows staff to apply for grants that are up to $100,000 that don't have any matching funds or any ongoing or additional operating costs. Everything else must come to the city council for the grant application. The existing resolution also lists very specific language that must be in the staff report recommendation and it requires a resolution be adopted um, even if the grant itself doesn't require such a resolution. Our proposed resolution will allow staff to apply for many more grants without coming to council first. To be clear, we can notify the council and the public that we are applying for grants. The concern we have is um, not being able to apply for these grants if we don't make it to council in time. So this would apply, allow staff to apply for any grant in any amount if the matching funds or services, including the O&M costs, do not exceed the city manager's spending authority. Um, and in 2023, that spending authority is $200,000. And if the matching funds have been previously appropriated, um, and also, if the matching funds in the grant do not obligate the city to add any full-time employees. If those conditions are met, staff will be able to apply for a grant without seeking city council authorization first. Um, and even in terms of grants where we do have to come to city council, if the city manager determines the grant application is due before the next council meeting, such as during your August recess, he may authorize that the application with ratification at the next available council meeting. Again, the point here is so that we do not pass up on any grant opportunities just because we couldn't make it to council on time. The staff report recommendation will list all the critical information as it says both in this presentation and in the staff report and if the granting the grant requires a resolution then one will be attached um, the recommendation then is that the finance and governance committee recommend that city council adopt the resolution that updates procedures to submit grant applications I will be available at your Finance and Governance Committee meeting, and I'm happy to answer questions. Thank you.